welcome back to the pink envelope. I have Deco Crated Easter. I am very excited about this box. What I'm wanting to know is, if you watched the Deco Crated Spring spoiler, the actual spring box had spoilers on the box. There were a few things that tipped as to what was in the box. I'm wondering if this is the same. The pattern on this looks the same as the spring box. That one was like an eggshell blue. This one is pink, so I don't know. I actually know nothing about this box. I have not looked at the influencer sneak peek. I have not watched any Deco Lives. This has been so hard to do. I always at least look at the influencer sneak peek, and then usually I get caught up in a Deco Live or two. I wanted to just raw open because I rarely get to do that anymore. And so I'm super, super excited to dive in and to see if the box is any indicator of any hints. But before we dive in, if you are new to Decocrated, here's what you need to know. Decocrated is a quarterly or seasonal subscription box. They have four boxes per year. When you subscribe and become a member of the Decocrated seasonal boxes, you get the ability to purchase this box. So you cannot just go purchase this add-on box. You do have to be a member. So if you wanna push pause and go look at the current box they are shipping, go up here. This is the spring spoiler, spring 2022 spoiler. It's gonna show you everything in it. Um, if you don't want to see the spoiler, just go down below, grab the URL, grab my coupon code and sign up. And then you can snag this guy. But these boxes are $39.99. There is no coupon for them. They are first come, first serve. In the past, spring and Christmas boxes, the add-on boxes sold out so, so fast. I know they've been trying to up the inventory so people wouldn't get left out, so I don't know what to anticipate with this guy about how quickly they will go. If you do wanna join Decorated, you can use pink envelope 15 to get $15 off your box. Run below and grab that URL. Okay, for you Decorators, let's open the box. I'm spoiling this box. If you do not wanna see what's in here, bail out now, because I'm gonna show, measure, and play with everything in here. Once we are done showing what's in here and measuring what's in here, I'm gonna take you out and we're gonna decorate with this. I have a couple of ideas in the living room, how to incorporate this with your current spring box and past spring boxes, plus some other stuff I want to show you guys. On top, as always, we have the card. Let's scoot this over like this. The art card is really cute, you guys. So here is one side of the art card. I love it. Here is the other side of the art card. Isn't that so cute? For those of you who are new around here, they do not send religious type decor. They just send true spring Easter bunny rabbits eggs type decor. Just in case you were curious about that. There is some info on the One Thrive Systems I love OneThrive, they're amazing. If you wanna check them out, I've got the URL below down there, but they are boards like you see here and like you see here that organize your life. I have one in my office, I have one in my living room. They are amazing. Go down below, grab my OneThrive coupon code to purchase one of those. So I'm gonna set this cute little art card right here and I'm gonna open this guy. I am not gonna flip through the entire magazine because it's gonna tell me everything that's in here. It talks about all the items. It shows you how to decorate with the items and it shows you really great coordinating add-on items from the add-on store. But I do wanna open the first page where it talks about the creator and designer, the color palette, key themes and elements that you can combine it with. So here we go. If you want to do what I do, snap a photo of this with your cell phone and keep it in just an album called Deco Created Cards. And when I'm out and about shopping at Hobby Lobby or Home Goods or anywhere else, I know exactly what colors to look for in the palette to purchase things that go with my box. Makes it really, really easy to keep up with. Okay, I am so excited. I love decorating for obscure holidays. Obviously Christmas and stuff is great, but I love the Valentines, the Easter's, the 4th of July's. Those are the holidays where I really geek out. I guess it's because not everybody, well, y'all probably do. Y'all are my people, but others don't typically decorate for those holidays. Oh, so let me just show you what I'm seeing. There's a box here. There's a white wood or ceramic thing there. And there's a cloth thing down there. I'm going to go with the box on top. Ooh, styrofoam sound is awful. <laughs> It's a necessary evil. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love him or her. Look at the little egg. 
pink little egg, this like concrete sand base kind of brings a little more of the modern farmhouse or just modern look. And then it's just a plain ceramic bunny. If you got the Easter box last time, he's gonna look really cute next to Angry Bunny. These two as a stacking artist will look so good together, decorators. I'm digging him. Oh, let me measure him for you. My mind right now, it's what I can do for decorating. Normally I do this before the unboxing because I've seen the sneak peeks. So we'll see how focused I am during this unboxing as I'm like mentally decorating while unboxing with you guys. He is seven inches tall and with his egg about three inches deep. So super, super, super cute. Here's that in the art card. Let's go for the next boxes on top. That is beautiful. It is wood and so it sits up really easy, but it's got this really great natural wood texture to the background so it doesn't look like a solid slab of white paint. And then it has the floral print on there. I described the spring 2022 box as a modern take on my great grandmother's home and decor. And I have to say that falls really in trend with that same design, whatever, whatever type of design that is. This is gonna play very nicely with the spring box we just got. So let's go for this guy, cause it's next on top. Oh, let me measure him, look at me. I'm just like moving, I'm all excited. This guy is six inches tall and five inches across. And the back is blank, so all of you guys who like to do deco hacks, you can pull the sticker off and do a completely different design on the back, should you want to. I'm guessing this is a pillowcase? It is, it is a lumbar. This side has this print, and the other side is plain. This is a first. Both sides usually have like this very statemental print, and this is very clean, and it's one-sided, and I am here for it. I love both sides of this, because we've received some really phenomenal pillowcases in the past, making this an excellent layering, like stacking your pillowcases together. Excellent layering case. I love it. The quality on it is outstanding. Great, great quality. And for those of you who are new to the whole deco created thing, unzip it and pull the tag. And here on the tag, it tells you the exact dimension. So this is a lumbar at 19 by 13, 100% polyester, machine wash cold, air dry. So. It is washable, so you don't have to worry about how do you clean it once your kids get a hold of it or your puppy gets a hold of it. Let's pull this right here out. <laughs> I love it. I love it, you guys. My heart is so happy. It's the bunny trail. You're gonna hop this way. It's so cute. So it's made to hang as a hanging sign. Obviously be very easy to prop up. Or do you remember like the um, harvest crate we got that has the removable plaque? Instantly my mind went to pulling that plaque off that harvest crate, adhering this to the side of the crate and having like a tall bunny beside it, eggs spilling out the side. This guy has a lot of uses. And depending on how much of a hacker you are, the back is blank. Pull the stickers off and you could design with the back of it as well. I love the simplicity. This is so clean. It is so beautiful. This all looks so good together. So we've got one more big box in here. Let's see what it is. Oh, is it a tray? It is a tray. A long, narrow tray. So it is that same darker wood color that has come in our past boxes. This wood color also coordinates with the item we got in the spring 2022 box. But let's say you're decorating and working with a smaller piece, like smaller area, excuse me. You can get the, the frame that we got. Oh, Deco Craters. What box did we recently get the art card frame in? I'm drawing a blank. And put your art card in it, whichever side you want, because it's double-sided 
put it on the tray, put the pillow on the pillowcase and hang this on the wall or hang it where it's propped up above and you're done. The box decorates itself just right here, like as a grouping right here, frame, boom. That is really cute, you guys. I am digging this and it looks so good. The colors are gonna go so good with the box we just got. Here is the, what the base looks like. Here's what the sides look like for those of you who like to kind of get a scope on it. Here it is and we'll measure it, let's see. This guy is 17 inches long. The side of him is a little over an inch tall. With the handles, it's a little over three inches. And it, the handles I'm noticing are screwed in, so you could unscrew those and remove those if you didn't want the handles on there. So it is a, a hackable item, okay. I cannot wait to go decorate. Let's get in the living room and let's go play. Okay, you guys, right behind me is a full spring spoiler. So, if you are here to see the Easter decorate with me, but you don't wanna see the spring decorate with me, you're gonna to wanna to bounce now because I am integrating the both of them together. I will be showing my full spring box while I decorate for Easter. So, bounce now if you don't wanna know. Otherwise, let's go decorate. We have the original spring box design. So I didn't change or move anything. This is where we landed last in the spring box video. What I wanted to do first was just take the Easter things, plug it into the current design and show how easy it is to just pop up Easter without having to go spend more money, without having to stress over things. It's really easy. The hardest thing we're gonna do is wire something to this guy right here. And I say we start with that first. So this B is on here with some green wire. I'm gonna untwist that, take the B off from back here. So literally this wire, I untwist it like these. Wreath and B. I want to actually put the bunny sign on this guy. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna cut two strips of the green floral wire. This is the same floral wire I've been using for every project we have ever done. Like for, I guess, two years now. I've never even had to buy a new one. So I'm gonna get the wire cutters. Got me two pieces of wire. And I literally want to mount this guy. I'm gonna leave the brown string on. But I wanna mount this guy like this using the floral wire. Once you have it wired in place, and I mean, I just took the wire and twisted it. It's nothing fancy on the back. In fact, <laughs> I haven't even taken the tag off. Anybody else do that? I do that like with all my things. It's actually kind of silly actually. Pull some of those leaves up front. You don't want it to be all smashed and flat. Put leaves in the front, put leaves in the back. Tuck, twist, move it around. That's the beauty of fake floral. We have some grace to move things around. So get that guy settled in there where you want him before you put him on the wall. Super simple. I am all about wiring things to other things. So we've got our bunny trail sign in place. Let me grab a couple more items. We have our cute little bunny and our egg. I'm just gonna start layering. So I like to semi like coordinate. So I'm gonna put wood with other like wood items. Also, in my last video, you were around for me to freak out about the three white books. Uh, that solves one of my problems once I decorate for Easter. I don't have to look at that base anymore. I love that. And I want to put him over here with these guys. Cute, huh? So easy, so cute. And then next, I want to add in Murder Bunny. If you're a deco creator, you know the inside joke about this. But this little bunny piece came in our last year's Easter box. I love it. I want to incorporate him down here. So I'm just gonna swap this guy out and put him here. And then I'm just gonna carry this guy off. And then I have the tray that we just got. I stole the art card frame off my sideboard and put in our cute little happy Easter. And this is the porcelain bunny from last year's box. 
This is actually sitting on my coffee table in the living room. Look at me, my balancing skills are crazy. This sits in the coffee table in the living room. However, when guests are over or the kids and us are playing games, I shift it up here and it looks like this. So it actually looks really cute during its other home. And then we can have people over and we can have drinks on the table and board games on the coffee table. My husband's playing video games and he needs to spread out headsets and controllers and put his feet up. It goes up here and it looks so chic in design. But then when we're done and I'm back to putting my house back together, I just pick up the tray, set it back down on the coffee table and it really is versatile. I'm loving the look. The last piece I wanna plug in is the pillow. I love this. I think it is so cute. I love that the double-sided other side is clean. It makes it so easy to layer with. And as far as this goes, it's quite simple. Boom. Done. All of this plays so well together. So well together. What are your thoughts? Are you digging all the blues? I am a blue fan, so for me, I am loving all the blues we're experiencing here. Okay, for my next design, I'm gonna pull all of the spring down and I'm gonna go Easter Bunny Easter. Very different from what you're seeing here. So if you wanna see that, let's hop over and design. Okay, I stripped down pretty much everything. I love this guy because I love it. I pulled one of the books out of this. Let me swap over here, there we go. One of the books out of this to lower it some and left it. So there's a few of the items that I'm keeping the same. I've just invested in this for these right here for this season. So I'm gonna be using them as much as possible. But then the other items I'm bringing out are either my past decorated Easter spring items or items my girls have picked out that have been around for a little bit. And so let me show you how our family will be decorating for Easter using the stuffies my kiddos have picked out a couple of years ago that we love. Some of this is gonna look familiar to you as in I'm still gonna put the bunny right back in the same spot. But I'm gonna add in the little pink goose that my girls picked out. And I'm gonna put baby bird down here. So pretty simple, just a little bit more girly, a little bit more like we have eight and 10 year olds living in the house. And then I brought back a basket I always have a basket or typically have a basket of blankies and pillows for the kiddos to pull out, lay on the ground, lay on the couch. So I brought those back out because I have some really cute throws that I want on display and to be used all through the season. Bringing in a few more of the items we just got, I wanna put just the base to the bird cage over here. And I want to bring little bunny. I'm thinking right there he may get shifted around, but I'm loving the idea of using the beads as a trim. So I could turn these books around so you don't see the words beautiful moments and put him here if we like it like that. Or if I like the beautiful moments, I could put him over here. You really could slide the little bunny guy around just about anywhere. I think he is so cute and he's so universal. And I love that he's small enough that even I could put him up here. Like he's, Really bounce aroundable. <laughs> See what I did there? I think I'm gonna leave him up there and put this over here. Cause once again, I like my wood elements to stay together. And then on this side, I'm still gonna use those books spine out. Cause I really love the way that white is popping. I'm gonna bring over the girl's other little baby. Put her up here. And then I just took the vase from our spring box. I filled it with faux robin's eggs and then filled it with faux tulips from Hobby Lobby. Don't love these. If you go to Hobby Lobby right now and look at them, you're gonna be like, Samantha, I am not like endorsing these flowers. They're just the only thing I could find to kind of show you guys what I had in mind. Then I wanna add in our ceramic bunny from last year and our big bird on this side. And voila, really that simple, that clean, that cheap. There was very little invested. If you're new around here, these guys I've had for years, the deco creators have seen me play with them for years. So the big investment this year was in my box, which was a great price point, and my flowers here. 
And for the tray, I have him still down on the coffee table and I had like the remotes on there and a pile of flowers. Not every time, but majority of the time, the add-on boxes have a universal item. So our Easter box had right, very Easter centric stuff in it. However, it also had that key item that can be used year round. So when I pack away Easter, I'll put all this stuff away, but this guy will stay out for me to use around the clock. And we're finished. We are fully Easter ready. It's springy, it's happy. It is busy, I like busy designs. And I almost did, like I did last time, a non-busy design in a busier design. But then by the time I got done every time, I had to use everything. I wanna use all the pieces to all the things. So I hope that you love it. If you guys have any questions, please put them below. I am here to help. I love answering your questions. Uh, There's so many deco creators on my group that if I can't answer, I guarantee you one of the other deco created members will. If you have not already, go down below, join my Facebook group, Ask the Pink Envelope. Join all three deco created Facebook, Facebook groups where you can buy off the marketplace and talk with other deco creators, see how other people are decorating, see how people are hacking their items into new things. It's really, really cool. I hope that you guys have a very happy Easter, and if you subscribe, I'm gonna see you later. Bye, y'all.